Hi there, I'm Ben and welcome to my full Platinum or 100% or whatever you want to call it guide for Little Nightmares 2. Essentially this guide is going to be for everybody. Anybody could use this, You could obviously for your trophies, uh, if you want to just use it for collectibles or if you want to use it as a full walkthrough for the game you can do that. Uh, there are timestamps in the description so if you don't want to follow along, you're just looking for a certain hat or glitching remain, then you can just jump around the video using the um, timestamps and just find what you need. Or if you want to start from the beginning here and follow me all the way through, I will get you every single achievement or trophy along the way in one single playthrough. Well, kind of too, you have to start new game uh, plus whatever you want to call it. Uh, to get the final hat, that's it. So yes, timestamps for every glitching remain, every trophy, and every hat in the description if you want to just jump around. Right, let's get started. So the videos are going to be broken down into chapters. This is just chapter one, The Woods. Um, from the very start here, I will just say that we are going for the evasive prey trophy from the very start here. So you've got to make it up to the house, the hunter's house, without dying at all, without hitting any of the traps. So I'll just mention that here, you're gonna see that at the bottom corner. So in the bottom corner, the whole time will be what's next. So the next thing we're gonna be doing is getting a glitching remain, but at the same time, we need to be aware that evasive prey is ongoing at this point. We don't want to die at all. Uh, but it's not a problem if you miss any of these trophies or anything, or glitching remains or whatever. The chapter select is very good, so you can just go back, go to whichever chapter you want, Get whatever you need, uh, quit out straight away, uh, and then move on and get whatever you need as you need. Go through the game that way. Uh, so I'm not going to narrate this whole video because for the most part of this game there isn't much to say as you're going along. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump in uh, when there's important stuff to let you know about. If there's a trophy coming up or a particularly difficult puzzle or something like that, then I'll just jump in. And uh, let you know. So here's the first thing. These are the traps I've just mentioned before I go. Uh, yeah, the traps here. So whenever you see sort of something like that, uh, the rope across the floor, you want to jump. The main traps you want to avoid are the bear traps. Uh, yeah, but when we get to them, I'll sort of let you know. But for now, um, yeah, just get used to the game. If you're playing this for the first time, holding R2 a lot is what you'll be doing, or right trigger, whatever you want to call it, whatever console you're on. Uh, yeah, so I'll be back shortly when there's more interesting stuff to say. So we're coming up to the first glitching remain now. Uh, fall damage is a thing in this game, so don't fall directly off the front. You need to fall off the side here uh, and then walk to the end here. You're supposed to go up that broken bridge there, but instead just walk past. It is dark, I do apologize. We don't have a torch yet. We do get one eventually, uh, but for right now we don't have one. Just carry on past and here's your first glitching remain. All you have to do is walk into them and you'll sort of assimilate <laughs> uh, in, into with them and uh, that's it. So that's glitch and remain number one. Uh, next is just glitch and remain number two, but evasive prey is still ongoing. So until we actually see that trophy pop, be aware of that. Thank you. 
So here are the bear traps now. These ones are obviously very obvious, uh, and for this one you want to hit it. Basically, you're going to be trying to activate them so you don't step on them. But glitching remain number two is coming up. So as you slide down here, don't go straight ahead. Turn around and go underneath this log, and you're going to find glitching remain number two. Um, yeah, he's here chewing on a dead rat, which is kind of a nod to the first game, I suppose. Well, he's not really chewing on it, is he? He's kicking it. But yeah, it's kind of a nod to the first game, I suppose, uh, if you've played that. But yeah, here you can see there's another stick here. Uh, this is going to activate these traps here. Uh, and then we're coming up to uh, a big patch of them where um, you have some pine cones that you're allowed to uh, set them off with. So yeah, if you're unaware of where they are, you can beat the leaves out of the way as well. So if you hit the floor and there's no trap, you will move the leaves and you'll know it's clear. Make sure you jump there. There is one on that gap as well. Uh, and then you have these pine cones. And I'm going to amazingly, I think three or four of these pine cones, I'm going to throw them and not activate a single trap. Um, oh, I think this one sets them off. Yeah, here we go. So they are in sort of bunches uh, around. There are some directly in front of me. I can't believe I'm missing all these. There are some at the bottom here in front of me. Close enough. There's a path anyway. So there are some. Don't drop down there. I haven't managed to activate them. But there is a clear path here. And then just jump onto this rock. There is one in between the rock and the log, so watch out. Uh, but do jump onto this log and then run and jump up. You have to make sure you're running, otherwise you'll fall short. And that's it. That's the final one. So once you go across here and then you run up the hill here, you're going to get to the house. Uh, and this is when evasive prey should pop for you. If it hasn't, don't worry. You can just quickly uh, replay the chapter later on whenever and uh, just do that first part again without dying if you did die or if you didn't it's, I've not heard of any glitch trophies so you should be fine um, yep straight away we're gonna get another trophy here what's in the box which is obviously <laughs> a little nod to the film 7 uh, drop into the kitchen here and then run to the fridge and uh, jump and hold R2 to uh, open this fridge up and there we go what's in the box most trophies are this simple it is a case of just little Easter eggs and things like that um, so it is it's, very very enjoyable platinum to get actually not difficult in the slightest there's no speed runs this time around so here's our first hat the raccoon skin cap uh, we definitely want this hat obviously we need the, all of them but another trophy is tied to this hat so as soon as you get it go into the menu and put the hat on uh, yeah there we go so right near the end is a trophy is going to be tied to wearing this hat so keep it on for the duration I will obviously let you know before that trophy comes up you can change it again if you don't have it on uh, but yeah we're gonna go down here and I'm gonna meet six uh, yeah so I'll jump back in when there's uh, some more trophies coming up which are the two here 26 and uh, in the palm of my hand which you can get at any time but I will show you the first sort of point where you can get them So at this point now is when you can get these two trophies, 26 and in the palm of my hand. 
Uh, you're kind of friends with Six now. She's accepted you. So if you press triangle or whatever the top button is on the Xbox, I always forget what it is. Is it Y? Um, whatever it is, keep pressing it and you will call to Six. Uh, at this point, it's just a whisper because you're in the house, but you need to press it 26 times. So just keep spamming it uh, and eventually the, the trophy or achievement will pop. Uh, which you'll see in the top corner and then straight away we're going to get in the palm of my hand uh, which is for holding six's hand for five ish minutes roughly i haven't timed it exactly but it is roughly about five minutes because i did roughly time it uh, so yeah there's 26 uh, so if you walk towards her and hold r2 you can see that i'm holding her hand and pulling her around uh, you don't need to be moving you can just sort of stand there but what you do need to do is let go of the hand for the trophy to pop so you can see there as soon as i let go the trophy popped and it was roughly five minutes uh, you can break in between like i said you don't need to do these trophies now you can get them at any point throughout the game They're, they are accumul accumulative no nope, nearly <laughs> uh, so yeah you can do two minutes here three minutes there uh, but the call one you can just spam it 26 times and you'll get it right away and uh yeah that's it for this so i'll be back shortly A nice little touch that, that the uh, keys get put in the inventory. They didn't in the first game, but I do prefer it in this one. Right, glitching remain number three is coming up. So you can see this outhouse here. Uh, if you walk towards it, six will get in position automatically to boost you up. And you can see there's a latch on it. So hold R2 and um, you'll open the latch up. And you can just see him there. Hopefully not smearing what I think he is on the wall. I don't know what he's doing. But anyway, go near him and uh, he'll disappear. And then we're coming on to sort of, uh, not a chase sequence, but we are going to see the main sort of boss, whatever you want to call it, for this area coming up. So don't worry if you die at all, uh, that's not a problem. But we do have um, another hat coming up as well soon. So just keep your head down whenever you, the sort of chase sequence uh, starts um, and hide behind things and you'll be fine. And of course, if you're near them, always crouch because uh, they will get alerted to you with your normal footsteps.
So we've got the second and final hat coming up for this area. Uh, there is a hat you can get with a DLC in earlier on in this uh, this episode, this um, chapter, but you don't need it for the platinum. So don't worry about that. That's the gnome hat. Uh, so yeah, make sure you do the run and jump there. You have to be running, otherwise you won't make the jump. Uh, yeah, there's two hats in the menu that you can't get unless you have the kind of DLC. Um, it is the gnome hat, so the pointy one, and the one that's two to the left of that, which is kind of a tree trunk looking head. Um, you can't get either of those two in the main game, and they're not needed for the platinum, so don't worry. Uh, so yeah, jump up on this cage, and then just jump up and down it three or four times. I think it's four, yeah, four times. And uh, yeah, you can get the rain hat. So it can look like six later on. Again, make sure you keep the raccoon skin hat on for now. There are a few times that hats are important for trophies, uh, but for now we're doing the fair, pay, fair prey trophy soon. Uh, I'll jump back in when we get to it. But uh, yeah, don't change the rain hat yet to the rain hat yet. You can do once you have the trophy, but just for now, make sure you leave the uh, the raccoon skin hat on. So the Fair Prey trophy is coming up, but I will just jump in here and mention that you do need to duck for certain parts underneath the water here, so yeah, make sure you do. Uh, you can see a few times you probably noticed that Six has been getting in the way and pushing me in front of the torchlight, which has been a bit frustrating, but never mind. Uh, as long as you're hidden as he fires the shot, you'll be fine, but you know that by now, you've got that far. So yeah, the Fair Prey trophy is coming up, so yeah, you the, the end of this area is coming up now um, and you kill this guy well I don't know if you kill him you don't know whether you kill him or not but essentially you fire a shotgun into his chest I suppose as he's trying to burst through the door uh, and make sure you have this hat on while you do that what we're doing now is story related you always fire the shotgun into the guy but you won't get the trophy if you don't have this uh, this hat on this raccoon skin looking hat uh, so yeah Fall down, grab the shotgun, fall down, and then uh, Six will hold it up slightly, and then you'll uh, pull the trigger by holding R2 as you pick it up. And uh, once you fire, you'll get knocked back, and eventually, soon, now, there we go, <laughs> fair prey, <laughs> got there eventually. Uh, that's it. 
So that's practically this um, episode, this chapter done. But we've just got one more glitching remain to get, which is uh, just after this. So this is quite a long uh, sort of driftwood ride across this sea lake. I suppose it's kind of a sea. It's got a tide. Um, yeah, you'll. I'm going to cut it out, but essentially you'll you'll float for about two or three minutes across. It's pretty cool actually. And then when you get to the other side, it's all automatic. Don't worry. So when you get to the other side, look for the TV, and you're going to see the fourth glitching remain. Um, you'll also get the Wild Kids Trophy, which means you've got all four glitching remain in this area. So yeah, that's it. That's it. So um, once you've got that, there you can see the trophy. Uh, once you've got that, you go through the door at the end here, and that's the end of Chapter 1. So you will get the Foraged Trophy, but that is just story-related. You will always get that. So yeah, that's it for this episode for uh, Chapter 1. So thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.